the reaction terminology, um, since these, these answers are calling reactions, actually comes from structural mechanics. So if I, you know, highlight steady state thermal and look at the boundary conditions. So at this boundary and this boundary, I'm setting heat flow to zero. That would be analogous to a free surface in structural mechanics where you would have no reactions. And in this case, there's no heat flux. Here, I'm fixing it at a particular temperature, which would be like a fixed surface in structural mechanics. So if this were a fixed surface in structural mechanics, I would have to apply a reaction to it to hold it there. Uh, the analogy to thermal cases, I have to supply a heat flux to it to hold it at that temperature. So that is the rationale for uh, why ANSYS is using the reaction terminology to calculate the integral heat fluxes.